A neighbor of mine sent me a, uh, a new version of the ant and the grasshopper. It goes like this. You know, you all know the old version, right? This is for children only. Children up to the age of 85. The ant works hard in the withering heat all summer long. The ant builds his house and he lays up supplies for the winter. The grasshopper thinks the ant is a fool and laughs and dances and plays the summer away. Come the winter, though, the ant is warm and well-fed. The grasshopper has no food or shelter, so he dies out in the cold. And the moral of the story, children, is be responsible for yourself. We were all raised on it, correct? Well, here's the Obama version. The ant works hard in the withering heat all summer long, building his house and laying up supplies for the winter. The grasshopper thinks the ant is a fool and laughs and dances and plays the summer away. Come winter, the shivering grasshopper calls a press conference and demands to know why the ant should be allowed to be warm and well-fed while others are cold and starving. CBS, NBC, PBS, CNN, and ABC show up to provide pictures of the shivering grasshopper next to a video of the ant in his comfortable home with a table filled with food. America is stunned by the sharp contrast. How could this be that in a country of such wealth, this poor grasshopper is allowed to suffer so? Kermit the Frog appears on Oprah Winfrey with the grasshopper, and everybody cries when they sing, It's not easy being green. Acorn stages a demonstration in front of the ant's house where the news stations film the group singing, We Shall Overcome. Reverend Jeremiah Wright then has the group kneel down to pray to God for the grasshopper's sake. Nancy Pelosi and Harry Reid exclaim in an interview with Larry King that the ant has gotten rich off the back of the grasshopper, and both call for an immediate tax hike on the ant to make him pay for his fair share. Finally, the EEOC drafts the Economic Equity and Anti-Grasshopper Act, retroactive to the beginning of the summer, the ant is fined for failing to hire a proportionate number of green bugs and having nothing left to pay his retroactive taxes. His home is confiscated by the government green czar. The story ends as we see the grasshopper finishing up the last bits of the ant's food while the government house he is in, which just happens to be the ant's old house, crumbles around him because he doesn't maintain it. The ant has disappeared in the snow. The grasshopper is found dead in a drug-related incident. <laughs> the, the grasshopper is found dead in a drug-related incident, and the house, now abandoned, is taken over by a gang of spiders who terrorize the once peaceful neighborhood. <laughs> Moral of the story, be careful how you vote in 2010.